Hey everybody, welcome. All right, let's continue this Kelpie thing. So this is where we left off and didn't do anything else in the meantime. Uh, we got these two candidates. And um, I want this to feel dynamic, but not unbalanced. So this one kind of looks like it's falling over towards the left. What we can do is maybe compress them down to a single layer and let's see if we do this. Maybe there's something I can do too. To make it look a little better. I'm just going to refine it and maybe even start inking it today. We'll see. Obviously, I have to adjust the anatomy a little bit because this is quite off right now, especially on the uh, back leg. The tail is going to be, well, <laughs> invented, made up. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter for that. You see, what can I do here? I like the idea of the splash. If I imagine there is a bunch of dudes here on the other side. Let's be, so there's gonna be Little guy with a sword, one. Little guy with a sword, two. Like bigger sword, maybe a thief. And a mage. All right? <laughs> Let's pretend these are them. And this is not <laughs> gonna be as large, um, but you get, you get the gist of it. <sighs> I still kind of like this one or that. That seems a little overdone. Do want it to feel dynamic, but not maybe something like that. No, because this uh, tail is already kind of acting as a let's call it pointer. I take this or the previous one maybe I could I could even make the tail larger this goes up there like that it's maybe a little better If I, let me do something real quick. So this is another layer, is it? So, let's take up two. All right. So if I frame it, now that the tail is a little larger, we divide this up in three sections, it should be kind of equal though. Like this. This already is a little off the third. So the head kind of falls in that third area. It's kind of here. It's a little low now. It was probably better a second ago when the tail was shorter, but I feel kind of it's a little more balanced this way. We take this. It's a little more in the third compared to that. 
Let's do the same thing for this. It's a little closer. Right? So, well, okay, the bottom two thirds are a little shorter now, but maybe something like that. Yeah, or I can use actually. I can pretend to crop this, and it's already going to show me thirds. So I don't need to actually crop it, but you get the just um yeah because these were off. <laughs> these were completely off. But see, the it's probably probably a little closer to that third. Oops, I don't, don't want to do this. See, uh, if I get rid of that mistake, this is a little farther away. The third year is a little lower. I mean, it's a little higher compared to the head. Uh, it's still in the ballpark. I kind of like the larger... Yeah. You know, Oh no, it's crashing again? Seriously? Photoshop freaks me out. Well. Hmm. What to do? I do like the longer one. Because this feels a little constipated. This one feels a little constipated. I might just go for the other one. Unless you need to... Maybe I can make the splash bigger? Nah. This is something like this. Something like this, you know, right? So a little longer. Just use a little, a little. If I only take the head in consideration, it's like this, right? This is more squeezed. Well, this one is, considering there are two things there, it's a little more open. I do like the one with the larger tail. It's just gonna take up so much space. I hope it doesn't feel like a boss too much because it's it's definitely a larger creature compared to uh, uh, the starfish. So, hmm, very undecided. Die roll? <laughs> Maybe I sure I'll die. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with the big one. You just try to liquefy just a little more. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like this. It's very annoying. It's like looking like a boss, but... I don't know. Mm -hmm. This one, or I can make it smaller. I can make it even smaller, maybe. Let's see. It not like that. So if I make it smaller, it's definitely gonna accentuate that banner rhythm a little bit. It's still 
it's like there are two areas here. It's like it's like an infinity symbol, right? I don't like it. <laughs> I could call it infinity kelpie. Um, it still looks like a pretzel a little bit. <laughs> still kind of looks like a pretzel. So this would probably have to come up higher like that. It does feel like a pretzel a little bit. <laughs> um, oh man, I don't know which one to choose. Get rid of it completely. And just... So we got giant tail, small tail, how about no tail? Get rid of this completely. Maybe something like this maybe. to end this way. Right. Hey, maybe this one feels a little more like um, a monster you would encounter that is not a boss. The, I like the dynamic one with the giant tail, but it really feels like a boss. This one? It's probably a little better. It's probably a little better as a generic random encounter type of stir. Yeah, you can turn it, I forgot. I believe we did a little bit. In this, yeah, in this case, I can probably, if this is seaweed. Because I have this now, so technically it's this type of action. I can probably go higher here. I, I feel a little better in terms of thirds here. Let me just give it, say first, and then give it a... It'll try. Yeah, it is a little closer now. Just a little closer. Well, I mean, it's not, obviously it's not different from that. But it feels a little more homogenous, I would say. There is a little space for more special effects, probably. See, do I want it? This is like walking on its hands. Or, oops. But. Alright, let's actually take, let's take this. The horse, no. The surf here, splash. It could be. This is definitely not a good idea. Too bad. Thank you.
Okay, um, I still like that, but again, it's too, it's too large. So let's keep it good, but large. <laughs> Uh, the medium one is kind of lame, so. Is it still empty? That's still empty. Okay. I'm going to duplicate on this. And this is how I uh, iterate, usually iterate through designs, right? Um, this is what you do with concept art, although <laughs> it's probably supposedly a little cleaner than I have it. So I could. I could tilt it slightly more. And then have well and have a longer no, it's too much on that. Probably need to let's see what can I isolate that now? Let's take the whole thing. Probably have a bit of a longer tail here. But you know what? I think the original the original is still the best. This is too much. I'm going to do with this. I'm definitely going with that. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. Um, I can try adding just a little more stuff around it. Some more splash. Maybe. It's getting closer to what I want to get. Not yet. Not there yet. This is not, not too bad. Not too bad. You know what? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah. Okay. Decision brings you to an action. So now we started <laughs> with this kind of stuff, <laughs> and that's uh. That's, oh, this was also not too bad. Not uh, good for this type of thing. Okay, this is this has to be a generic monster. So let's keep it this way. I'm gonna scale it up. Uh, group all these sketches here and work on this. Uh, so this keep back up. Right. Scale it up and add some detail. I hope I have the right size for the canvas. Hmm. Okay, so first, uh, let me grab my horse head references. I actually had grabbed a Grand Blue fantasy reference for this, uh, the sale. Kelby gets seaweed tail instead of mane. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome, Chase. Yeah, um, this is... I, I kind of... I thought it was too large, like that. The whole tail being seaweed was... It's, it's cool, but it denotes a slightly too large of a monster for being what I, wanna, what I want it to be. So this is, for me, personally, a good compromise, so... Um... So I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm not sure yet if I want. Must yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna keep the skullish look because it's it's dead, I guess. Um. So what do I want to do? Start adding some kind of level of detail. 
And now I do need my reference. So I have a reference in the other screen as always. It would have been pretty big, yeah. Yeah, too big, uh, too big, I think. So let's go with something a little simpler. Because otherwise, it's really, I, I already made this mistake with the Octopus. They're, they're going to start competing with the Leviathan already. Um, the next one, um, I could accept votes. Uh, TBF, isn't your boss going to be Leviathan? Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, it's going to start competing. <laughs> With that a little bit, if I make it too large. I guess. No, no, that. You have, oh, maybe something like this to make it interesting. Uh, I actually do think I need that. Uh, Gram blue. If Leviathan is a whale, aren't you going to make him gigantic? Yes. Yeah, it's probably going to need for RPG Maker at least, probably going to need one of those mods to. I'll move it, move the sprite outside of the screen a little bit. Um, it is going to be pretty large. Um, obviously, it's gonna, it, it's not gonna be on. It, the scale is gonna be a little off because um, otherwise it's kind of ludicrous. Uh, you can't even fight it. It's not gonna be that sort of giant monster. It's, it's still gonna fit into the screen to a degree. So. Uh, where was that? So, um, I'm looking for a ground blue fish because it had some nice rendering for the sail. Alright, dragon to oh, my other reference. Uh, this is what I'm using, by the way. This sort of thing. I want the sail to be sort of like that. Either that or like the fins. Or even like this other, I should even have this. Oh, they actually do have an eel. Because the other small monster is going to be an eel. Um, They do have one. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, they got pretty much everything. Okay. Anyway. So le the Leviathan is going to be large. But still, like one of my other bosses, large. Or I can make it large. I mean, technically, you can just scale it up the way you want when you put it in the game. Uh, if you have the source files. And I am including the source files recently in my packs. So, should make it a little easier. Cross reference the real Marlin. Ah, oh, Marlin's scary. Scary fish. Maybe this can be, you know, a little more fantasy. Instead of being damn boring spikes, let's do something like this. Depends on how you make it or pose it, but you would really only have to worry about the horizontal scale, right? And again, it could also be off screen to a degree, uh, like I did with the um, RT5 monster, the dragon one. That's slightly. That goes outside of the area. I believe some of the monsters did it for you also go outside of the area.
this. No, oh, this was like, nah, it's too much like a mane. So the ears are off. Respect it. Now, so let's see, it should be around. Uh, this looks probably correct. This one is not. Could also have some ears. Something like that. You know. Uh, the school. If you've seen the stale will from Dragon Quest, um, mm, I don't remember it. That one actually balances the vertical and horizontal quite well. In which game? Which number? I don't remember the stale well. I've, I've only played Dragon Quest 8 and uh, 11, and the 11 one was just a demo. <laughs> so. I mean, oh, okay, I had 7 too, but I never really finished it. In 9. No, I didn't play that. The artwork. Uh, yeah, I am not familiar with it, I guess. Let's get rid of this. Let's actually leave a little bit of meat right there. Okay, something like this. I don't want this area to be overly complicated. Otherwise, it's going to take away from the whole design. The head is really not the main focus. Could have some little things, maybe, on the ears. Here. Is it going to have an open mouth? Or maybe just a skull? There's this. It's more clearance. Let's move down. I might have made... Okay, I'm gonna shrink it. I'm gonna shrink it later. I think it's too long. This is, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna gross... Gross Steve here. Ah! I'm glad you're doing Leviathan as a whale, 
As I had a whale design I wanted to, I want it, but I might end up using that instead. Cool. Yeah, I feel like I want to not follow classic standards too much. I've done it uh, so far. It's just that, uh, you know, Leviathan as a giant serpent is really from Final Fantasy. Like, that's... <laughs> That's Final Fantasy's version of Leviathan, and I don't know if I want to follow that, it, that closely. It's like drawing chocobos almost. <laughs> it was supposed to be a Gojira Gorilla whale joke. Okay. Well, I mean, Gojira is not too far from Kujira, which, mean, which means whale. I wonder if it had something to do with the naming in the beginning, or in the beginning. Because Kujira means whale. Who knows? What do I want to do here? Yeah, let's see. I'm either going to do this black or glowing. Let's say black for now. Ah, oh, Gojira means gorilla whale. Oh, really? Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it actually was supposed to mean that. So are you doing a bit of an undead theme with this? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, um, I don't know, when I think about a Kelpie, uh, maybe it's wrong in my mind, but I think about this kind of gross monster. So, it's just the idea I got in my head. <laughs> it's, it's sort of undead as well. Yeah, I wanted to feel kind of like that, not some sort of noble creature, definitely. Definitely not noble. Get some hairs here. You should make the tail a sort of dark red then. Play into dead seaweed. That could be a good idea. Uh, just taking a note there. Yeah, I don't know about the color yet. Oh, can I find a horse that has got a similar... chill? That's gonna be hard. <laughs> um, kinda hard to envision the musculature here. Start with what I know. There's still a difference between knowing anatomy and applying anatomy. Applying it is a whole different beast. This is going to be consideration. Two at the bones here. down it goes into another ball I'll be too tilted be very careful here very easy to mess it up 
by the way, I've got, <laughs> I've got this in the way. We had um, OBS in the way. Let's see, can I? Okay, something, uh, yeah. Something like this could work. Not too bad. This needs, so the muscle here, there's so one is going on from the outside, so it's gonna be here. But the other goes through the center. So it's gonna be something like this. No, probably not. Let's see how something like that works for me. This part should be in the shadow. Look at the full thing here, the whole scapula, scapular muscles. The triceps still towards ah what a mess. So the neck, neck should probably connect. Let's see, there are some sheets of muscle sheets that go down that way. No, that would turn. Where is a real horse when you need it? Ah damn. Okay, definitely gonna have the hump here. So this is going to be visible. It's fibers of the sail. What? Yeah. No, no, much though. Let's leave it as it is for now. Just gonna need something here. So I want the fibers to be very not spurs. <laughs> pretty often here something like that let's see yeah here we have the pecs mm -hmm. Oops, the natives. I need a reference on my other screen. The back is gonna be around here. This closes in, making this sort of shape, probably. Probably something like that. Because then we have, we can make it pretty, like just indication for now on the lat and here here we have the um, let's call it seaweed for now this would have something more like that maybe some shreds it's shredding, the flesh is shredding there a little bit. I have to make sure the two legs, front legs, have the same thickness, obviously, because it would be kind of strange otherwise. Uh, there's a tangent here, so. 
modify the hair strand. Never ever want tangents, as, avoid them as much as possible. <clears throat> So this is going to be a little funnier because here's, here I'm going to have a transition between the horse leg and the sort of splash. So let's see, something is going to, it's going to feel weird. That maybe? Obviously, this is going to look much better <laughs> later. Make it blue, bluish. Just fun because water is not blue. But everyone draws it blue or paints it blue. Leave it there for now. Focus on the rest. Um, so here we have the seaweed. Oh, we shouldn't have so much reference because it is distracting. It is a lot of reference. So sometimes I have to pan around the pure reference. Pure ref. Yeah, to be able to see everything. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't want to exaggerate on the detail for the seaweed because seaweed tends to be very distracting. Okay, these should probably be two different strands. Order. They all attach, I don't know, somewhere at the bottom. <laughs> Something like this. Maybe. Well, see, I'm still probably going to adjust it ever so slightly when, like, right before I ink it. Uh, we might get to the ink. Leaks. I'm thinking of seaweed kind of like. Um, this sort of thing, like a curtain, right? So it's doing this down, down, up, down, up, like that, to give it volume. Oh, what if I add some? Little, little things, something like that. It's a little too straight now. It's like this, boom, boom. So I might have to animate it just a tad. This, just a belly, nothing fancy. But I, do I want, let's see. Let's, let's see, this turning. Actually, let me draw. The structure here. So this is doing this sort of thing. So a little hump up, down. Uh, probably doing something like this. Let's see. So center line. Now I want to make sure the structure is correct. Obviously before. I finish it before I take it to the next step. So something like that. Okay, something like that. It's kind of it's twisting. It's twisting a little bit. So this 
it's like the back of the horse is going up a little bit. It's like twisting that direction a little bit. I might even sail. I might even bring. Yeah, this is all sort of something like that. I'm going to bring the sail. So the traps. This is the uh, Lechisimus. Is going to do this sort of thing. It's a little elongated. Maybe it's a little too long to be a horse. So I could even I could even stretch it or compress it vertically. And then we have this. So this is gonna be a shadow here. Like this, let's say. Something like that. Now let me see if I can actually shrink it without creating too much of a engine. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. It's a little more compressed. It's gonna help the thirds. It's almost a tangent. I'm gonna to want to bump that up ever so slightly. Like that, okay. So there's almost a tangent there, just be careful. Uh, I like it a little better. It's a little more compressed. Looks a little solid. So, so the scapula will probably end up somewhere there. Center line goes some these whereabouts. So like that. So this would be yeah, that's a little off. It's a little off for what I have it, because the center line would be here. Well considering we didn't see that, yeah, I guess it's fine. I know what he's gonna notice. Or will, because I just said it. So everyone's gonna nitpick on that. So every now and then I want to have these little spikes. Maybe something like that. These fibers have to be more dense. Again, not quite like sails, something more like, um, hmm, that's a good example for that. I don't know, it's like this sort of thing. And some of these will definitely need to be redesigned. <clears throat> I kind of do like the the uh, shape I give it here for the new tail. Keep it simple, just a second, and then I'm gonna add. Uh, maybe I could even, I could even add something at the bottom. We'll see. So this tail is flesh, but it's kind of into or tapers into um, seaweed so same idea as before just a little less less obnoxiously present and huge 
do something that way. Here. Patterning. With seaweed. Too bad. Maybe a little too much. Is it really a JRPG design if it is obnoxiously huge? Um, that's a good point. I might have to <laughs> revisit my ideas. Depends on the JRPG, I guess. It's got to be impossible to some degree. And this has got a skull head, so. Hopefully it is obnoxious enough. <laughs> like this is a little technically yeah, it would be something like that there. So this probably final do something more. There's still a hump in the back, right? That muscle we saw on uh, Longissimus, I think it's called. It starts here and goes like right, right, right. Back. So this doesn't feel like that. This feels obviously go with that. Actually, it's pull down this thing like that. Make it more like it. Duh. Okay, this works. I gotta find a way to maybe put in some of those. We'll see. Uh, these are gills. So, yeah, I'm not gonna use a reference for the gills. It's just cuts. It just cuts in the flesh. Might be able to see something inside, but this one, I, I, I don't want it to get too distracting. Yeah, it feels. Yeah, that really feels a little weird. Just flesh wound. <laughs> yeah. Could be. I want this to. You know, this area is confusing. I want this to feel like it's in the front, and then sort of do this, right? Twist. So these would be here. I don't even know if it would be possible to see that side. Over there. But these are all things, uh, matters that I have to fix now because otherwise later it's gonna be too late. Uh, it's not gonna be possible to make it look decent at that point.
I want to fix all of the, as much as possible, all of the perspective mistakes and inconsistencies that I see. And more often than not, I just don't see them all, so that, that's, I guess, fine. But I do want to be as precise as I possibly can. Okay, that's attaching. I don't want to hide this. Something's here. Oops. Got some tendons. Tendon goes down here. Something like this. Definitely want to show this tendon. Definitely want to show this rotation. And bottom part. Harder than the other. Super happy with that. Something. Ah, like that. Ah. Should be enough. Is that seaweeds again? Not attaching down to the hook. Obviously. One is more of a that maybe. Okay, let's see what we got so far. Um, or no, oh, you know what? Let me just act the splash too. This. Something like this, so... Which ones do I want to keep? I want to keep this... I guess... It oddly doesn't make sense. <laughs> or it makes very little sense. Well, I have to figure that out. No, that's ugly. Terrible idea. God bless history states in Photoshop. <laughs> Maybe in front of that a little bit or not. Huh, let's leave it. Now, let me check my, my visual effects reference. Let's see, it doesn't, it's not a splash. It looks very watery. So maybe something like that. These are two similar, very similar shapes. Let's get right one. Something should probably sprinkle from the back. Something in the front. Um, maybe there's something here as well. Puddles? Or shock 
queen. <laughs> Maybe around it. I don't know how I'm going to render this thing. It doesn't make sense physically. It's just... Let's see. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Uh, this... Maybe not as thin. I want to... Feel um, solid. I'm using the word solid a lot today. These are too similar again. Uh, I'm gonna change it. It's okay. Like that. Okay. okay. By the way, Chase, this is basically how I made the tornado for the last one. <laughs> Except it wasn't it was less bubbly. Hey Sinri Tuna. Thank you. Okay, let's see what we got. Did I forget something? Uh, I'm good, how are you? I think this is looking decent. Ah, oh, this is a little consistent with the horse anatomy one. <laughs> but this, okay, these need some change. Yeah, I think you mentioned that being good practice uh, for this. Oh, you mean, yeah, 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 the, uh, the visual effects, yeah. Been drawing a lot, so it's finally time for me to watch others. <laughs> yeah, cool. Have you been drawing traditionally or digitally? I'm kind of liking this. I think it's a pretty decent design. I just have to really, really fix these and anatomical inconsistency. Recently, it's a lot more digital since I'm making prints. Oh, cool. For a convention or just selling them on your own? Let's see if I can fix this part. Can I fix it? Ah, oh, damn horse. I need a 3D horse, really. I really need a 3D horse. This part is very, very problematic. I forget the deltoids probably can go here. Yeah, for an anime con. Okay. Cool. I haven't gone to any convention <laughs> ever. Because I've always been in the wrong place at the wrong time, so no conventions for me. Yay. Eventually. I was supposed to go to the Tokyo Comic Con a couple of years back, but my son was too small, so it would have been complicated. And also, you know, COVID. I would, yeah, I would. People who love fantasy work would love it. Yeah, I would like to. I would definitely like to go to a con um i just maybe okay I'm, I'm gonna get ready for next year i guess with some prints and things i just i have to get a little more illustrative compared to what i have now but just an indication of the lats here maybe this could be the It's 
I just went to one and a lot of people got COVID. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine also got it from a convention a couple weeks ago. It really sucks. Also, traveling is not uh, is not fun. You know, because you always uh, when I went to Japan, I I or it came back actually. Uh, I had to wear the mask on the plane, and that's like thirteen hours plus the whole traveling was I don't know thirty in total. That's really stressful, especially with for one that suffers uh, various nasal issues. <laughs> it is painful. If you go to a fantasy con, maybe one day we can meet up in Nemo. Yeah, it's, I guess if I go to the States, <laughs> if I can travel with a uh, prince and stuff, I'd love to, unless you, uh, you go to Europe or Japan, depending on where I am. <laughs> Being in Europe makes it a little harder to go to cons. We have some here in Italy, it's just that they're not quite like there in the US. When I went to Singapore, I was a bit more careless because I was quite immune during that time. <laughs> That's useful. Okay, I think we're done at this. Uh, so I can I can probably start. Wait, let me um, clarify these shapes. Probably start inking it. Not as good? What do you mean? Um, love the movement of this. Thank you. So not as good. Um, I Maybe it's an impression. I haven't been there. Okay, so it's just an impression. It seems to be a lot less professional. Like a lot more cosplay, a lot less people showing off and selling their art. This is just an impression I got from what I've seen from being far away. Uh, from people I heard went there and things like that. While they are in the US, they seem to be much more business oriented. But again, this is just my raw impression. I might be completely wrong on this. I mean, it's always a mix. It could be. Oh, you mean more fans than professionals? Yes, that's that's right. And at least the one that's pretty close to where I am now. Well, I didn't have anything ready, so I didn't go because of that. But it, I feel like it's it's called Etna Comics, and I feel like it's kind of how can I say it without being rude. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's not. It's not prof It's not a professional environment. It doesn't feel like. Okay, so that's why ultimately, ultimately I didn't go. Also, because I don't have a car now. But America is like selling the tenfold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna ink it. I'm gonna start inking. Uh, I've got about ten minutes today, but I'm gonna start nonetheless. So where's my sigh? Open sigh. So this is saved. I mean, it's stuck. Oh no, this does not have to be seen. Chase is gonna freak out. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Uh, okay. Um, where is it? Projects. Uh, RPG monsters. Ocean pack. Don't sue me, Chase, please. Nobody saw that. It's too it's too small to, to be told apart from the other things. Uh, 
copy. There it is. All right, and then I'm going to save as kelpy.sci2. I'm going to close Photoshop and yeah, bring this back. All right. I have to drop the whole inking part because if I can take a creature to this stage and then start adding uh, shading, best of both worlds. I don't have to struggle with inking because I, I, I don't like the inking part. It takes so long. It took so long for those boss monsters I'm doing. I'm going to <laughs> go back and look now. No! Please no. It's, it's just a small preview. It's just very tiny. Yeah, I'm using side too. I didn't even see it, but you <laughs> bring it up as my attention now. No, it was not as visible, don't worry. It was just a small thumbnails and a folder with your name. <laughs> That's all. So it should be safe. They're so small, I think that the, because of the video uh, bit rate, they're not even gonna be visible or understandable in any degree. All right. Let's see. So uh, this is a sketch and this is my line. Uh -huh. Uh, by the way, Scenery Tuna, if you want to follow, I'm going to be here every day, uh, Monday to Saturday, around 5 p.m. CET, doing Masters and Creatures. So please give a follow, if you like what you see, of course. If you hate it, well, uh, put a, I don't know, a thumbs down on YouTube, I guess. Not so art grind. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I draw a lot more in this. Actually, I draw in the morning and evening too. Usually. Okay. 3.5. Oh, okay. You stream only 1.5 hours a day? That's so healthy. Oh my God. Yeah, I I would feel sick if I streamed longer than that. Uh, I might stream some other times, but I'm not gonna do longer sessions. Uh, it's it, it's not for me. I just get tired and get a sore throat after a while, so. So it's definitely uh, it brushes a little off right now. If you haven't, please have some water. <laughs> I am having water. I'm having water here. Uh, I'm, I, I do have a cup here on my side. There's something wrong with the brush. Uh, probably Lizzie is only being hooked the wrong window. There you go. You should join one of my streams sometimes. I don't know how late it would be for you. Uh, what time do you stream? Because I've checked your profile and I don't see any. Maybe you, you don't um, have the like save feature enabled? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I checked it and I, I didn't see any stream. On Twitch, right? make this large. You also may not want to be associated with me. <laughs> no, I do, I do actually. Get to save your VOD, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see the VOD, so. If you enable it, um, also, uh, what time do you stream anyway? In your time zone. Gonna be on top, I think. Oops. 
top of that, and these are gonna be in. Yeah, I'm in out of here. Uh, do you stream on Twitch and YouTube? Usually around 2 p.m. my time. Uh, and what is your time zone? I guess. Because I could be on if it's uh three ish, four ish hours from now. I could join. I could join today actually. EST. Okay, so yeah. I think I might be able to join today. So I'm going to check it out today, later. Uh, what do you stream? Gaming? Oh, you're not streaming today. <laughs> okay. Okay, just let me know when you do. Because I don't get... Um, I am not getting... I am... I think I'm following you, but I'm not getting notifications of that. For some reason. I have a meeting, so it's just for you. Okay, okay, cool. like that. Yes, maybe. Computer has Samuel on too, but he's not as wild. <laughs> and you do uh, gaming when you stream? This is... Oh. It's death. All in a day. Yeah, a chill gaming streams. Okay. Cool. Yeah, uh, let me know when you do. Because uh, I'm not getting updates. Again, uh, notifications when you stream, despite being subscribed. Uh, I mean, uh, following. You do drop knowledge. Okay. Good to hear that. Yeah, I'm interested. The only days I cannot, definitely cannot follow at that time or join at that time is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday because I'm streaming to on um, an Italian channel. Kind of a variety show sort of thing. With a friend. Anyway, now let's leave it here for now. Just started the inking part. Uh, like when he talks about tanukis and their parts on the stream. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, turn on the VOD so that I can, in any case, see it at, at a later point during the day if I, if I cannot join. But for now, I'm gonna be off. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, uh, we're doing it, we're two, uh, me and a friend, and we are doing this, uh, well, part gaming, part drawing, me drawing, um, next, it's gonna be next Tuesday, and part random anime stuff. So, uh, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not in English though, so. <laughs> it's all Italian. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna be off. Thank you guys for watching. Um, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, right, Saturday, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully finish the ink of this Kelpie and then for next week it's gonna be rendering. Uh, this is gonna take not so long, hopefully. All right, anyways, uh, phone's ringing. You guys have a nice day. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>